Hi, I'm Sheila Magalhays. I'm the co-director of Heart Song Yoga Center in East Long Meadow, um, along with my husband Tony, and we're celebrating our 25th anniversary this fall, and we're really proud and excited that people are curious and interested about yoga and wanting to learn more. So thank you for, for having me. So yoga is, um, I would like to call it an art or a science or a philosophy that is based in the Indian culture, where it came from India, that is nearly, some say, four or 5,000 years old. It's a very old practice, a very old philosophy. The word yoga means union, to join or to yoke together. So it's this idea that you bring in relationships of yourself to your inner wisdom, yourself to one another, yourself to the natural world. Um, the yogis over the centuries were kind of trying to map out um, how to live the most healthy and um, well-balanced life and lifestyle through the practices of yoga. So it's not just exercise, but it's also um, a way, a perspective, a way of thinking um, about your world and your life. The idea in a yoga session, whether you're in a class or you're doing a home practice on your own, is the mindfulness piece of it. So that as you begin your practice, however long it is, even if it's just a few breaths or a few moments, you're connecting to the rhythm of your breath and you're doing your best to keep your attention focused on what we call the present moment. So that when I think about it earlier on, when I was younger, I used to be um, in a small gym and you'd get on like maybe a, a Stairmaster or something. And so you're on the Stairmaster and then there's um, a magazine in front of you and your best friend next to you and a big bunch of televisions in front of you. And you're doing everything you could possibly do just to get through the exercise and not think about it. But in yoga, it's mindfulness. It's like, are you thinking about your shopping list? No, come back and do this work. Are you worried about a conversation you had this morning? Come back and do this work. And you draw yourself back to this space, this time, this moment, where the yogis say, and it's true, this is the only thing that's real, this moment. Because everything else is in the past. It's gone. And everything in the future is just, we're making it up. We have no idea what's going to happen next. Flexibility, people think about flexibility because they always see pictures the, like Instagram and, and uh, in the magazines. They are always models who are twisted up in really complicated poses. And you look at it and go, I could never, I can't, I can't do that. Like, I can't hardly, I can't even sit like this. So what we, what we do is we say, okay, if you can't sit like this, then you can sit like that. Or we can get you a chair or stack up a couple more cushions, or put a blanket underneath your knee, right, to make you comfortable. And if you can reach your shin, cool. If you can reach your ankle, that's, that's nice. If you can touch your toes, it doesn't make you a better person. <laughs> it's, so it's okay. You can be stiff and tight and, and athletic and super strong. Um, it's a balance between strength and flexibility. When you come to a yoga class, you regulate your breathing, it quiets down your nervous system. You relax those tense muscles. You do that work of mindfulness and you remember that you're here now and not what's ahead and not what you're worrying about. And that you're not those thoughts, like the things we always say to ourselves, our critical mind. If you're not, you say, I'm not good enough or I can't get this done or I'm never gonna finish this. And you're like, okay, nope, just I'm good right now. Yoga says who you are right now is perfect in every way. So don't, don't worry so much about trying to be different. And when you hear those messages from your teachers or from your colleagues, it's like you go, oh, a weight of the world just falls away. When, it, when we say namaste, that's a greeting to begin a practice, to end a practice, and it literally means that the light in me sees the light in you. That underneath all of this, we're the same. If you don't like your first class, try another one because you might be surprised um, that the right time, the right class, the right teacher, maybe in a, even a different time in your life is a better time to start a practice. Just, I say, um, as someone had said once on a New Year's resolution, find a yoga class, take it, and don't stop going for the rest of your life.